there's a lot of people, Greta, that when it comes to this topic, they feel quite powerless. Um, before you yourself were on the, the global stage, we hear that you, you kind of did some campaigning to your parents and it helped mm -hmm. you kind of, it gave you more hope, I suppose. What, what is it that you were doing, like, to campaign to your parents? Yeah, I mean, of course, when you're a child, when you're like 8 or 10 or 11 years old, there is not much that you can really do to make a big difference. So then you start small. I started with turning off the lights at home to save energy. And that led to another thing, which led to another thing. Uh, and eventually I stopped flying, I stopped... I, I became vegan and so on, and then I, I got my parents to do that too, because I started talking to them, and they started to listen to my concerns. And by making them change, it also gave me the sort of courage that I needed to, to move on, to start school striking. So starting somewhere is, is really good, yeah. starting home, for example. Yeah. I think that's what they say, isn't it? Start where you are. Yeah. Uh, Greta, these days, you, you're still just 19 years old and you are a key voice in this huge global movement. That comes with a lot of pressure. What helps you deal with that? Uh, I think the most important thing is knowing that we are so many people who are who are fighting for the same cause. I have so many friends who who I can share this with and who 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 are also activists. Uh, and without them, it, it would not be possible. Yeah, you you hold those other activists close. I actually saw this amazing picture uh, of you having fun because you also like to have fun with uh, Malala <laughs> Yousafzai. Now. Those hats, I was Greta, say. I know that there's a story behind them. You knitted them, crocheted them? I crocheted them. Uh, yes, that's what I do. I'm a frog hat uh, factory. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not exaggerating, because I saw you earlier with one of your team, and there were several members of your the, the group travelling with you. People had the frog hats on. Yep. How many have you made now? Maybe 25 or wow. so. Wow. OK. Wow. Gosh, 25. The new logo. Yeah. The, the new Greta Thunberg logo. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Uh, so you've channelled all of this knowledge that you, you've accumulated at Greta into your new book called The Climate Book. It's not just written by yourself. You've got together more than 100 people, uh, brought together their expertise, their knowledge, um, all into one place into this book. So I suppose, like, who are you hoping picks this book up? Uh, I'm hoping to reach as many as possible. Um, for me, this is a type of activism. I use whatever platform I have, whatever opportunity I have to spread awareness to as many as possible because I have the privilege to have the opportunity to do something and therefore it is also my mission to spread awareness to as many as possible. The, the sort of idea with this is to, is to send to those who have important things to say, whether it is scientists, experts or activists living on the front lines, authors who can share stories about this. Um, in doing so, I hope to communicate a holistic picture of of all these crises that we face and make people connect the dots between them. Mm -hmm. So I hope that this can be some kind of, of beginner's um, guide to the climate emergency. Yeah, it's important to you, I think, that the book contains so many different perspectives. Mm -hmm. why, why does that matter? Um, because the climate crisis has so many different sides to it. It's not just the fact that that the, the planet is heating up. It's also about droughts, it's about famines, it's about floods, it's about the displacements of tens of millions of people happening already today, already earlier this month that we have seen. Um, and that is, there are different sides to this story that mm. we must tell. Mm. I mean, I mentioned earlier, Greta, about people feeling overwhelmed mm. uh, about this topic. And there might be people at home that are thinking, I don't know, how does little old me kind of make a difference mm. or whatever? Like, what would you say to those people? Um, I would say that it's, it's very understandable to feel overwhelmed because the things we'll, we're talking about, the things we're dealing with, are existential threats to humanity unlike anything the world has ever seen before. So it's very understandable to, to not know exactly where to begin and what to do about it. Um, and that's why, for me, it, it helped to do something con concrete and that I started to read up more about it. I started to educate myself. And when I became fully aware of it, I sort of knew myself what I could do, and and then I, I, I made the decision to start school striking for the climate. Mm. Um, but but also, as I mentioned earlier, connect with other people who feel the same thing, who share the same values as you, uh, because when you are together in this struggle, then there is no there are no limits to what you can accomplish. Yeah, brilliantly said, Greta, and thank you very much for your time.